Hey friends, Running Kimono here, and I wanted to share a story, something really, really weird happened last week with Walgreens and uh, their like online service, I guess, where you order stuff from the website and it gets shipped to your house. Um, so I'm just going to explain what this is, and I want to tell you like the stupid thing I did and how like a manager at my local store basically made sense of all of this. So last week, um, I had a digital coupon that didn't come off, I think for a Colgate deal. And um, I got in touch with customer service chat. And uh, shortly thereafter, um, I got my like dollar fifty or whatever it was last week or two bucks or whatever it was. And shortly thereafter, you know, the 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 dollar fifty of Walgreens cash or whatever it was was on my card. And then I got an email saying that Walgreens was going to be shipping me a courtesy product. And I went and looked at the email. The email looked completely legit. And it was just that um, as a courtesy, I was going to be getting a bottle of these vitamins and that, um, you know, apologies. I was not going to be charged for this. Um, and just that this was going to be sent out to me. And I'm like, what? I've never purchased this item. I never even knew Walgreens had this. Maybe it's a website only. I don't really tap dance in the vitamin aisle, so I don't even know what this is. Um, but there was a a link for a UPS tracking. And then I pressed it and it said that the product was in a warehouse in Indiana and it was going to be like sent out the next day, like overnighted. It was like a courtesy item. And so I pressed the link to try to track the item and I should have never have done that. Um, but the next day, the item wasn't at my house. And I was like, this is really strange. So there was a manager on the floor. She's been there forever. And I, I went to her and I'm like, hey, I got this really weird email from your company saying that I was going to get courtesy products sent to my home, a product I've never ordered before. And she's like, did you press a link for anything? And I'm like, yeah, it was for the tracking. And then immediately there, she's like, I think that might be a scam. And I'm like, oh gosh, this product was supposed to be here today and never arrived. So she told me, she's like, look, why don't you call customer service and try to get to the bottom of this? And she's like, if it's a scam, you got to just, you know, cut your credit card or whatever. And I didn't use a credit card for it. And what can they do with a tracking link that you pressed? But it was plausible enough that I'm like, this seems weird. So I did call customer service and I tried to explain this to one of their reps and I hate being on the phone. You guys know that. And the rep was so confused. Like she's like, what? And then I gave her the tracking information and stuff. And then the rep told me, she's like, oh my gosh. She's like, um, we sent it to the wrong person. So two people in the United States with the same name I got somebody's order instead of the right person getting the order. The rep keyed it in, Krong. So this was a clerical mistake. Oops. And she's like, so when you get the product, bring it back to Walgreens, which I did do. But the lesson between the lines, guys, because like I was an inch from like I pressed that link like stupid me, dumb, dumb. You know, one of these things I'm not really thinking the email looked legit. If you get an email for something you didn't order, Google customer service Walgreens or get it through the app. Don't call the number provided in the email, but call the customer service and then provide all the information from the email or if something comes to your home and they can get to the bottom of that for you. Or possibly go and talk to a manager at the store. If there is a scam going on, they are very educated in that. And that's why my manager was like, don't press any links. And again, don't press any links. So this was just one of these stupid things where it wasn't a scam. It was just two people with the exact same name in the United States. And I got somebody's missing order. These vitamins are in the neighborhood of 50 plus dollars. Um, I'm not going to hang on to them just because, you know, I'm, I'm a couponer that needs everything. I'm bringing them back to the store and doing the right thing. And I encourage you guys to do the same. It does garner a bit of goodwill that you're an honest person. But how very, very strange. But if you ever get an email that looks legit and you're like, I didn't order that, do not press any links. I need to remember that too. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.